You may have heard of the White Spring at Gladstonebury, and indeed many springs occur naturally all around the world. But one of the world's hidden gems is very much hidden, but on the edge of a 53 square mile estuary of the River Dee. Until just a few years ago, the water just oozed from the ground. But of course, just recently, a standpipe has been put in to allow easy collection of some water. So I've got a bottle with me. Let's go and find it and see what it's like. Now springs are fueled by rainwater collected on the hills and filtered down through the natural sandstone that Wirral has its foundations on. And the height of this reservoir supplied underground up in the hills supplies the pressure for this water to be released and is very unlikely to run dry. It's like a river underground. Now this is actually the Wirral coastal path and part of the King Charles III coastal path. When completed, it will be 2,700 miles long around the coast of England. So this is the start of one of those sections as just down the coast, the Wirral hosts part of Wales, as the border cuts through the edge of the peninsula around Burton Point. So we're on this coastal path, uh, bottle in hand. I believe it's just down here, hidden in the reeds. Let's go and have a look. Can you see it? So this is the standpipe of fresh spring water straight out the ground, runs 24 seven, all day, every day. Let's have a closer look. So I suppose it can get a bit flooded down here maybe during the winter months, but it's uh, fairly dry at the moment, so at least you can get down here. Got the bottle, let's have a look and see what it's like. Give it a wash out. There we go, fresh spring water. Spot on.